Hi, I'm Tim Murphy. I work for ABB and the U.S. Uh, Optimization Services Group. And I'm here today to talk to you about ServicePort. And in specifically, I want to talk to you about what we call the Loop Performance Channel. ServicePort has a collection of channels that cover a lot of different areas between the process and equipment uh, that ABB or the customer has on their site. Uh, Loop Performance Channel is specifically looks at a large number of DCS or PID control loops or instrumentation signals and gives you great information and ability to diagnose and identify potential improvement areas for your control. Um, so let's take a look at the Loop Performance Channel. We have uh, different views that you can uh, pull up. Um, what I'd like to do first though is look at the data itself. So if you think of um, controls and if we just pick a controller for example that has some data to look at Normally, from a DCS system, this is what you're going to be looking at is all these uh, trends with uh, controller measurement, set point, and output. Understanding where are there issues and control tuning improvements is a difficult thing. As you can see in this uh, set, a uh, long list, we have a long list of controls that we're looking at here. If we just pick up another one, you can see there's another control. I can. You know, just think of the time that it takes to look at each one of these individually. Well, with all this data, um, and this is an eight hour collection of data in each one of these trends, instead let's go in the channel itself and we're going to look at what we call the scan view. The scan view, or event view, is a summary of that analysis period. So instead of looking at the data as you see on a trend, the analysis is taken for the KPIs or the key performance indicators and we have areas of control, process, and the signal processing. Each one of these are broken down into um, smaller groups like in the control side is the control in manual, is it over controlling or slow control? Or in the process is the uh, valve out of range, are there disturbances that we should be aware of? And then also on the signal processing there are um, areas that are uh, investigated or analyzed for noise, for spikes. Um, let's take a look at one of these. For, the, for example, the process, we can look at what we call FC problem. That would be a valve. Uh, FC stands for final control element. If we just click on that bar, notice that this bar, and anytime we see a horizontal bar with all the other channels, in addition, that a bar that has some depth or length means that there's something we need to look at. If there's no horizontal bar, that's, you know, things are good. If we see that bar, then there's something that needs to be investigated. If we look at the FC problem, this said there's 21 controllers that potentially have something we want to look at. Here it gives me a list of those 21 controllers, and the list is prioritized based on the ones that have the, the most dominant issue relative to what we're looking at. If I say pick one of those, let's just grab this controller. So we've uh, gone into the actual data from the event view, we've drilled now into the actual raw data for this controller. So looking at this flow controller, you can see, yeah, something, something's probably happening here on the measurement. Looks like it's the set points nice and uh, flat, but the measurement seems to have some variability. The other thing I can do is on the, the trend itself, I can just drag and zoom in a little bit and now you can start to see the output. The output of the controller has a signature of a triangular wave, okay, or a sawtooth pattern and we kind of, you can see the up and down action of the measurement and this is re a common visualization of what we would see in what we call a valve problem or an FCE problem. So here you can see the actual data. The, the nice thing is the the loop channel gives you the, the uh, scan view to say here's the KPIs you need to investigate, but you can actually get right into the data and look at the data for the particular analysis that you're trying to see. So again, thinking about all the loops, loops that you have to analyze, you know, there's 300 and some loops that you're looking at in this case. We can drill into one loop, you know, really fast and identify where the actual issues are and come up with a corrective action plan based on that. So hopefully this gives you uh, an idea of um, what the Loop Performance Channel can provide and what can be the advantages of using this, and thanks for listening.